Good evening, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where we're spending Sunday nights in September with our star of the month, Paul Robeson. Tonight's lineup begins with one of Robeson's most indelible performances, the screen role he is most closely associated with, Universal in 1936, Showboat. This is a big screen adaptation of the Broadway musical by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein, which was adapted from an Edna Ferber novel published in 1926. The story spans five decades and three generations as it follows the fortunes of Magnolia Hawks, an aspiring actress whose travels take her from her family's humble riverboat theater in the South during the 1880s to the bright footlights of the North in the 1930s. Irene Dunn stars as Magnolia with Alan Jones co-starring as her leading man. They are joined by a powerhouse supporting cast, which includes Paul Robeson as a charming but shiftless stevedore named Joe. Ask the old river what he thinks. He knows all about them boys. He knows all about everything. For the original 1927 stage production, the role of Joe was written with Paul Robeson in mind, but other commitments kept him from joining the cast until its London premiere a year later. Robeson played the part on the London stage, then again in a 1932 Broadway revival. By the time he got to play Joe in the film, he knew the character inside and out. Same was true for many of his castmates. The cast is full of showboat veterans who played their roles in earlier stage productions, including Irene Dunn, Helen Morgan, Charles Winninger, and Helen Wesley. They all give powerful performances, but critics singled out Paul Robeson's rendition of the ballad Old Man River as the highlight of the picture. The song went on to become Robeson's anthem throughout his life. We'll look more about that after we see the film. From 1936, directed by James Whale, also with Hattie McDaniel, this is Showboat. Jerome Kern, who wrote the score for Showboat with Oscar Hammerstein, later said he conceived the melody for Old Man River after hearing Paul Robeson speak. The song went on to become Robeson's signature tune when he performed not just in productions of Showboat, but in concerts all over the world. Over the years, he also made substantial changes to the original lyrics. At first, the changes involved removing offensive language, including the use of the N-word. But later on, as his career became more and more political, Robeson used Old Man River as part of his crusade for social justice. He changed the phrase, I'm tired of living and scared of dying, into the much more inspiring, we must keep fighting until we're dying. Eventually, the song was no longer a sad lament, but a political rallying cry against oppressive governments everywhere. Robeson even went so far as to change the phrase, you get a little drunk and you land in jail, to the more provocative, you show a little grit and you land in jail. Coming up, we have the first of several films Robeson made in England in the mid-1930s, it's a drama from producer Alexander Korda, released in 1935.